Today you will learn how to add an intro and outro screen to your Facebook live stream. You will need to download free software to be able to do this. Visit obsproject.com. Click your operating system and your download will begin. While you wait for OBS to download, let us edit our intro and outro images. The sample we provided our parishes are customizable on PowerPoint. On the first slide, add the parish website and pastor's name on the second slide. Add the parish website, phone number, and pastor's name. Now we need to export the slides. On PowerPoint, click File at the top, then click Export. Select PNG as the file format. Click Save Every Slide. Save to your desktop and click Export. Now let us rename the picture slides in the folder for easy access. The OBS download is complete. On a Mac, drag the OBS file to the Applications folder. When you open OBS for the first time, you will have to read and grant permissions. And there I am. Hi everyone. Facebook Live will mirror what is displayed here. Now let us add our intro and outro images to OBS. Click the plus sign in the sources box. Click image, name your image. Click browse and find your image. Your intro image now appears in red. Now let us add our outro image. Click the plus sign in the sources box. Click image name your image, click browse and find your image, your outro image now appears in red. Let us resize the images to be full screen. Click an image and drag a corner to fill the screen. Then hide it by clicking the eye in the sources box to the right of the image name. Resize the other image to fill the screen. We don't need our outro image now so we will hide it by clicking the eye. We want the intro image to appear first on the live screen. So click the eye and it will reappear. Mute your microphone by clicking the sound icon. It will turn red. Remember the location of the eye and sound icons. They will be helpful when you are live streaming. On your Facebook page, click live. Copy the stream key code. Go back to OBS and click settings. Click stream. Select Facebook live in the sources drop down menu. Paste the stream key. Click OK. Now you're ready to go live. Click Start Streaming. Your OBS display is not what your Facebook Live viewers will see and hear. Let's run a test that only we can see. Scroll down on the left side and select Publish as a test broadcast. Click Start Test. We are now live. Well, not technically. The viewers will see our intro screen. When you are ready to begin, click the eye and sound icons on OBS to unmute and hide the intro screen. Hello world, congrats. You've added an intro and outro screen to your Facebook Live. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Leave me a comment with a suggestion for my next tutorial video.